Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will speak about the overnight trading in Bitcoin. Hello, my name is Radvan Vojtko, and I'm CEO of Quantpedia.com, a fintech company dedicated to simplifying access and understanding of academic research related to algo trading and uh, systematic investing. Uh, we go through academic research and we systematically look uh, for um, uh, academic papers uh, that offer interesting ideas for new trading strategies. Uh, we catalog and summarize them in plain language and the result is a continuous database. Uh, the result is continuously built database uh, of ideas for systematic investment and trading strategies. In our new video series, I use uh, Quantpedia tools uh, and uh, articles and research um, and uh, I will guide you through the various trading strategies and anomalies and show you how and mainly why they work. Uh, Quantpedia covers all mainest classes. It covers equities, commodities, bonds, currencies and cryptocurrencies. And um, I picked crypto anomaly for this first video. Uh, in Quantpedia, we believe that we can use academic research uh, as an inspiration uh, for building a new trading strategies. And I want to show you how we can use the knowledge of one existing anomaly uh, from one asset class, uh, stock index prices, uh, to uncover a new anomaly in another asset class, in Bitcoin prices. So our journey will begin in the stock market. What are you going to do? Uh, there is a uh, there exists an anomaly uh, called the overnight effect, and we have a quick description of it in our database. What is its overnight effect? Overnight effect says that there is significant significant difference between nightly and daily session uh, in the uh, U.S. market. Uh, so um, it's reported in a lot of academic research papers, uh, and. Uh, we can see that the return of the stock index uh, earned during the overnight session are higher uh, so, uh, than during the daily session. So investor or trader is not compensated for holding the index during the daily session between open and close uh, as all of the returns uh, are uh, incurred during the nightly session between close and open. So there are uh, multiple probable economic reasons for this anomaly. One, was, one is probably, or one is the risk theory, which says that uh, uh, the overnight effect is a compensation for illiquidity risk. So you cannot sell your investment during the night when the market is closed. Uh, and because of that, uh, you receive a higher compensation. Uh, so the performance is hidden in the nightly session. Uh, plus, there are other explanations that are related to the timing of uh, earnings announcements. So, the most companies announce earnings announcements after closing hours, uh, after closing exchange closing hours. So, it means that uh, again, uh, holding stocks during the night is a compensation for the risk that something is wrong during the earnings announcements. Uh, so, we have this knowledge about the overnight effect. And it leads us to the hypothesis that similar effect can be present also uh, in other assets. Uh, let's say, for example, Bitcoin. Uh, so let's take a look on the Bitcoin. Bitcoin price is skyrocketed from 2014 from the price of, I don't know, $1,000 uh, to $40,000 in 2022. Uh, of course, there is a higher price appreciation uh, in the first few years uh, of existence. So it means from 2010 until 2014. But data from the older period uh, are not very useful for statistical analysis. Uh, Bitcoin was very liquid. Uh, not a lot of trades were done uh, at the time. And uh, so we prefer to uh, do the analysis from the uh, period that it's uh, from 2014 or 2015. Uh, now, over, the, over these, I don't know, seven years from 2014 to 2022 or eight years, uh, Bitcoin uh, had a uh, performance of around 60% per year. But on the same time, we had like three extremely bad bear markets. Uh, the first one uh, in 2014 and 2015, uh, when the Bitcoin prices lost 
in Europe 90%. Uh, in 2018, uh, we had like more than 80% drawdown, and in 2022, we have around 60% drawdown uh, at the moment. So, uh, yeah, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are not for weak hands. So, we have like, but we have an interesting question. So, what's the day versus night distribution of Bitcoin returns? Uh, now, uh, we have a blog about it. We used the data from uh, Gaming Exchange. Uh, the history starts uh, in 2015 and we performed the uh, statistical analysis. Uh, and let me move directly to the result. Now, firstly, we must to ask what's the daily and what's the nightly session? Uh, so, of course, the cryptocurrencies are traded 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. So, cryptocurrency market never sleep, but normal people sleep <laughs> and rest. So, uh, traditional exchanges are closed during the significant part of the day. The professional tra traders are used to trading during the daily hours when the main financial hubs are open. I mean, London, Tokyo, Hong Kong, uh, New York. So let's do a statistical analysis of Bitcoin average returns. And we can see that there are two significant spikes. Uh, the first one after 10 p.m. UTC and the second one after 11 p.m. UTC. Uh, and what's interesting about those, those two spikes is that those two hours are exactly the only hours when the mentioned main financial hubs, uh, the markets there, the exchanges are closed. New York, London, Tokyo, Hong Kong. So it may seem that the cryptocurrencies trade on a 24-7 basis, but after careful analysis, we can see that there, there really is a nightly session uh, in a Bitcoin crisis and daily session in Bitcoin crisis. Uh, even that uh, the nightly session is only two hours long. So now we have a logical question. Uh, what is the market performance of a strategy that holds Bitcoin each day only during those two, two hours? Uh, and let's take a look. So, uh, uh, we have 43% per year performance uh, and remarkably small, only 22% rollout. So, just by correctly picking the trading hours, we can decrease the risk uh, of holding Bitcoin to one fourth. So instead of having 80 or 90 percent drawdowns, we have 70 percent drawdown, and we still retain more than half of the performance. So over 30 percent performance. So uh, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short quantitative analysis and explanation of one simple trading strategy, and I hope that they will meet in another video. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.